I think that uh, she's definitely made a name for herself when she put a Hannah Montana wig on and recorded a parody of Hannah Montana Forever at my expense. That, that's, that was definitely something. Did you see that YouTube video? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that, uh, that was a direct shot here at this show. So obviously she's implying that she listens to the show. So obviously I have a super fan that denies it. I mean, I don't, like, love her, love her. Like, I've talked to you before separately off the phone. I'm not crazy about Kelly Kelly, but um, as a wrestler, yes, I do think that she could have the potential to be a good TNA knockout. Mm. But as a person, no, I really, like, honestly, I'm not, I'm not crazy. You know what I mean? Well, she, she made the decision that after she finishes wrestling, she's going to become a broadcast journalist like me, so... Because it, it was kind of disrespectful, because you don't, like, when the fact that she got on YouTube and made a video making fun of Hannah Montana, that's very disrespectful. And I think that the WWE doesn't have the right to be making shots at Disney Channel, but, um... No, they don't, because, I mean, they're, they're supposed to be targeting kids. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, how do you? I I actually like don't like her as a person, like I said, but I do think that she could have the potential to be a very good TNA knockout one day if she actually stopped making fun of Disney. Okay, my mother passed away from cancer five years ago. Next question is, uh, what's the relationship like between yourself and your mom? Do you have a good relationship? Or? Yes, I love my mom. She is the best. She's actually in the living room right now. Um, we. Like, um, we talk all the time. It's just me and her. I don't live with my father. It's a long story, but I'm not going to say that on the air, but, um... Nope. She's definitely helped me through a lot, so I'm really close. Okay, which version of Nightmare on Elm Street did you prefer? The one starring Fr Todd Frizzle or the one starring uh, the other guy? What's his name? Robert, Robert, England. Robert England. yeah. I preferred Robert England. Todd Frizzle sucks. Okay, and did, did you like the presentation of that film? That seems to be a popular question everyone enjoys. I love... Wait, do you mean the Todd Rizal version or the Freddy Krueger version? The Freddy Krueger one. Okay. Freddy Krueger was an amazing actor in that movie. I loved his role. I mean, I'm like the biggest Freddy Krueger fan. Um, I actually just wrote him a letter in the mail, and um, he's writing me back a letter with an autograph in it, so... Okay. I've been a big fan of... Uh, Robert England for actually quite a while. Yeah, definitely. Great stuff. Okay, next question is, this is an unorthodox question. Why did you ask this? I do not know. The voices in my head want to know, uh, do you visit iCarly.com on a regular basis? No, I, I, I can't <laughs> say that I do, but I do enjoy the show. Yeah, I think they went three seasons, but the, th the cool thing about iCarly.com is it's almost identical to the one they show on television, except they don't. It have, is. Yeah, they don't have a web show on it. They just have the videos there. That's the only difference. Yeah, I I've been on it once or twice, maybe, but definitely not on a daily basis. Okay. Next question. Your fondest high school memory. What is it? The oh, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, but um, well, there was this one time that um, this one chick, like totally pissed me off. So I grabbed this chick and slammed her face into the locker. That was, that was the best, that was actually the funniest memory that I remember because she was like so blown away because I just like grabbed her and smashed her. It was, you don't know, like it. Okay, we're cutting out again. Okay, we lost that part. Okay, let's stop that there. Cody, this is going to be the best date ever. Date? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me a second. <laughs> yes! My six-month plan worked! Come to think of it, I had a six-month plan, too. Interview everybody there was to interview on the Internet, get a job with WWE or TNA, and then become the most famous personality in all of professional wrestling. But it never turned out that way. Funny how life works, isn't it? I'm still interviewing people and still struggling my way to a thousand. But once I hit that, there's only one thing left to do. Retire.
You know what the most powerful force in the world is? You mean friendship? Friendship for sure. How about a million friends teaming up to do something? Disney's Friends for Change is about friends coming together to make big changes. Really big. We're talking monumental. The power of our friends and our determination to make a change is an amazing combination. So we're getting together with our friends to help make our planet a better place for all of us. Visit Disney.com slash Friends for Change and register to take the Friends for Change pledge. I, Selena, I, Demi, and I, Miley, promise to register and pledge. Reg and pledge! We promise to reg and pledge allegiance to the planet on which we stand. Once we've all pledged, you'll get a say in how Disney will spend a million dollars on projects to help the planet. Projects that save energy, save water, create less waste, and heal the Earth. That's the power of Disney's Friends for Change. So come on, visit Disney.com slash Friends for Change to reg and pledge. We did! and get your friends to reg and pledge too. Then keep watching Disney Channel to learn about our Friends for Change global projects and the part you can play to make a difference. Together, we'll save the planet, one friend at a time. Over 100 years, the government has trained and deployed animals as espionage agents. But now, there has been a breakthrough that goes beyond anything that science had imagined. A covert espionage team known as G-Force. This is a rodent. We're official agents of the FBI. Holla! Agent Blaster. Weapons and transportation. I'm pretty sure this is animal cruelty, but I love it! Yeah! Agent Juarez. Martial arts with a secret weapon. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Agent Speckles. Cyber intelligence. Setting up a worm to decipher. You're a genius. I'm a mall. I got a thing for worms. Agent Darwin. G-Force team leader. The fate of the free world rests on my shoulders. Uh-oh. Ah! This might be a good time for a nap. Time to get this party started. Everybody get dangerous. Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh! Suck in your gut! I am! Get ready for a motion picture event. <laughs> like no other. You just got out driven by guinea pigs. <laughs> That was off the hoods up! G-Force. Meet Wally. -E. He's been cleaning up our planet for 700 years. And sometimes, he finds it hard to tell what's rubbish and what's not. But when it comes to pirated movies, even Wally can tell. There's a whole world of difference. Don't watch rubbish. Have a movie experience that's out of this world. Uh -huh. Uh -oh. One team, one dream, and one big break. Whoa. Demi Lovato is Sunny. Cool. <laughs> An average teenager who's come to Hollywood. I can't believe I'm really here. To live her dream. Demi Lovato stars in an all-new comedy series so long. about a comedy series. Does this fat suit make me look fat? You're in a fat suit? Weekends on Disney Channel. Yeah! I know what you're thinking. I'm not a real athlete. I'm just a wrestler. I'm six foot ten, three hundred and twenty-eight pounds. I won boxing's golden gloves three years ago. I was a national champion at the University of Miami. My jersey was retired at Florida State. I was the ultimate fighting champion. When you step through those ropes, bad things do happen. Had over 200 steps. I suffered a dozen concussions. I broke a bone. I separated shoulders. Air broke my neck. I've blown out knees. But I still got up. This is who I am. This is what I do. I'm not really an athlete.
this isn't real. 